Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the opening game of the quarterfinals for the World Cup 2023. What a game we have in store today. The World Cup hosts of France go up against the current world champions of South Africa. Both of these teams have suffered with injuries across their World Cup campaign. Both of them know what is on the line today. The winner of this game potentially goes on towards the final and maybe even to win the tournament whoever loses this game is out for good lots on the line today we expect a big one as Matteo Jalibert gets us kicked off and underway and hits the ball deep towards Kobus Reinach on the big charge as Libok off to a great flying star for South Africa oh what a great charge by him dodging and weaving in between players and suddenly France find themselves on the back foot very early in this game Marnie Libok filling in in that scrum half position South Africa doing well at the breakdown at the minute Damien Dialende not managing to smash his way through at the minute Jonathan Dante needs to get himself back on side as they go out to Chesling Colby showing and going dancing around some players oh it's a great pickup by Kobus Reinach but driven into touch by Matteo Jalibert what a great start to this game already we knew this was going to be a full throttle full excitement kind of game but South Africa off to a great start and steal the line out as well what a great start by South Africa here they pass it out wide they've got numbers out there Gael Fiku has to get back doesn't manage to get the tackle Oh, can Libo get the pass out? He doesn't. There's no one on this left wing. It has to come. Damien Pinot is rushing across like a madman to try and stop Arenza. Gets stopped just before that five-meter line as they try and push on. Driven into touch. South Africa have come to play in this game. France want to take some time just to try and adjust to where they are at now. They go to the front. No, they don't. It's a dummy throw and Jalibert jumps out the back to try and give them some sort of territory. But that breakdown situation... Yet again, putting them under big pressure. Ramos filling in, trying to kick that ball clear. Doesn't find touch. The wind blowing it back infield. But Arenza got a long way to run back now as he goes on the counter-attack, showing and going around one. France have managed to clear their lines. They have relieved some pressure. Oh, for the second, though, because South Africa, again, trying to snipe up that left-hand wing. They are targeting that in this game so far as Libok gets taken down. Oh, doesn't manage to get a quick recycled ball there. Damien Dialende on the crash ball that time try and take it a little bit further as Stephen Kitchoff now filling in at the uh, the scrum half position not expecting that as Kobus Reinach gets a break away we've seen him do this in the World Cup so far and once again France into scramble defense mode trying to recover South Africa managed to get the ball Mostert has to fill in in scrum half once again because Reinach of course trapped underneath all that mess of bodies at the minute France just about holding on defensively South Africa are on the big push as they go out oh there's a missed tackle there they go out wide to Arenza doesn't manage to break through Damien Pinot defensively there oh once again it's Kobus Reinach finding himself isolated oh but the tackle by Ramos just doing enough to bundle him into touch what an exciting start this has been from South Africa. If the game keeps up this intensity, we are in for a historic game here as Dupont gets the ball passed out wide. Doesn't manage it. Oh, Jalibert has to clean up. South Africa get the turnover. They put the pressure back on. Libok charging up once again. France and Narrow on this left-hand side. Oh, yeah, the ball had to come a little bit quicker. Maybe not, though, as they charge through the middle. And once again, Reinach! Taking it to the line. He doesn't manage to get to the line. The ref says it's a knock-on. And France will survive once again. How close was Reinach to getting that one? Uh, they have said that the, uh, the advantage was over. They've actually given this as a South African scrum in a superb position. And France will be feeling this pressure. I'm not sure the referee's got this decision right. I feel like if there was a knock-on, it should be... A, uh, a France ball, but he says no. South Africa on the big push. France have been under the pressure the whole game so far today. And once again, they've gone wide on this one. That is a huge call rather than playing it short. France defensively holding on as Kitschoff goes in. Orense gets the handoff on Damien Pinot. Gael Ficou steps in, the defensive captain. And that is why he is. Oh, what a great play up that short side. Caught everyone off guard. And Bongi Umbanambi goes in for the try. The hooker out on the wing. Great play here. Gael Ficou 
Lukaku with a try saving tackle but then left his eyes off the hooker on the outside great spot and over he goes for the try Damien Pernod had to make that stick and just fell off the tackle now Marnie Livock on the kicking duties today one of the big controversies surrounding this South African team over this World Cup let's see how he gets on in terms of his kicking today Oh, he's kicked it wide. It's not what he wanted to see. And South Africa go into the lead, but only by five points. Didn't punish France as much as they could have done. Jaminet kicks it further down the field. Oh, a little bit of a loose ball now. Where can Kobus Reinach take this one? Manages to get a great offload, to be fair to him, and kicks it a little bit up towards the end of the 22. France trying to battle in this driving wall here. What can South Africa do? Everyone is wrapped up. Umbanambi, the try scorer, fills in at scrum half to try and alleviate some pressure. Kobus Reinach goes for a kick, gets them out towards that halfway line as Thomas Ramos. Oh, what a great chance. Chase by Marnie Libog not to let him get away there as Dupont gets it on to Gael Ficou, kicks it on. The ball got sort of stuck in between their legs, but France still have it now. France can apply some pressure, probably for the first time in this game. They have struggled to get anywhere as Wokey charges through some tackles to take it up to the five meter line. They manage to take it back. Oh, Jalibert picks it up. The ball knocked on. I don't think the referees noticed the knock on. France have got the turnover. They are stuck right on the edge of the South African five meter line as Antonio charges it over. You feel the TMO needs to look. I'm sure there was a knock on in the middle of that. There was a bit of a turnover. Jalibert there. Oh, it looks to me like a knock on. The referee has missed a bit of a blatant knock on there. Should have given that one. Dupont taking his time. Which way does he go? Chooses the big man off to the right and he's a tough man to stop when he's at full tilt. Gets himself over for the try. Big controversy, though, about potentially an earlier knock-on that should have come in as Jalibert will take the conversion for France and slots it through the middle. France take the lead at half-time, seven points to five, but what a talking point that final try will be. Well, we knew this game was going to be a fearsome battle and South Africa have come to play in this one. They've been in control for the majority of the game. Some superb runs by Kobus Reinach and Marnie Libach have been putting the French defence under huge pressure. The French defence has held up well on the defensive line, but as soon as one of those tackles goes awry, suddenly so many metres being made and they put France under enormous pressure. It looks like they could have had two or three scores going in this game if it wasn't for the great scramble defence by France. France, one of the tackles pushing Reinach into touch and Gael Fiku stopping another absolute sure try but just taking your eyes off this Springboks team for a second is what comes back to punish you and Bongi Umbanambi made the most of it a nice little pass up that blind side and saw him go over for the corner try Libok missing the kick though we'll talk about how costly that might be by the end of the game with only two points in it at half time France though only having one real attack of the half in this one and it does come at the end and it does ultimately lead to a try Antonio going over at full tilt off the back of a ruck right underneath the post but you have to say big talking points need to be around the TMO not calling out what to me was an obvious knock on in the tackle the referee missed it the TMO hasn't picked it up and the try stands but controversy in this World Cup quarterfinal On to the second half then, and there has been some changes for France at halftime. Antoine Dupont has come off, their captain and leader. Maybe that injury to the cheek has just flared up once again. And also Sekou Makalu has now come on for France as well, just to try and bolster those forwards. Maybe they're not happy with the amount of turnovers that have been conceded at that breakdown as South Africa go on the charge once again, just like we saw in the first half. And already the impact of Sekou Makalu there, getting straight in in that first ruck, and France come away with a turnover. Villiers tries to take it up towards the wing, doesn't get it and uh, South Africa with a brilliant turnover there. Cheslin Colby rushing this one back up. Oh, what a great break there. It's Sia Khaleesi. Can he go all the way? Just nobody matching him at all for speed and suddenly France on the back foot once again. Jonathan Dante tries to get around the outside. Oh, it's a great offload once again to Jesse Creel. Back inside. South Africa on the charge. They must be angry about conceding that try that maybe shouldn't have stood. Marnie Libok tries to 
take it this time. Damien Diolende hits the gap in the middle, not managing to get round the try scorer. Mbanambi taking it in once again. Where will South Africa go? Franz Malherbe stepping in in the scrum half position. Reinach is nowhere to be seen at the minute. There he is, gets back into position. He'll be looking for those sniping runs. Chooses not to. The one-off runner. Big charge by South Africa. And there he goes this time. He was looking for that sniping run. France are a bit more of a wear in the second half. Chesling Colby can't make any room down that wing either. France trying to commit at this breakdown. Throw the dummy runner going in there. France holding firm. They're not committing to this breakdown. They want every man available in this defensive line. Where can South Africa go? They try and pass it further out wide. Well wrapped up though. Damien Dielende can't get through. Orense trying to take it on. Doesn't get round. Pano gets absolutely clattered in the tackle. And France get the turnover. Now no one's back there for... Oh, no one was back for South Africa. But Jalibert with a bit of a slicing kick goes off. And the referee even saying here, I think, that he says it was played back into the 22. So they've lost that territory as well. Even from a, a pretty poor kick. Still not going their way. South Africa still applying the pressure through the one-off runner of Sia Khaleesi. This time going for that huge crash. Kobus Reinach, you can't help feel like this tempo is slowing down a little bit for South Africa now. Maybe players are beginning to gas out. Maybe it's time South Africa look to the bench to get some extra players on as yet another turnover comes in. Gael Fiku doesn't want it from there. He tries to run it round the outside. Jalibert gets it out to Antonio. And Makalu, we know he has some pace out on this wing, even for a forward. Where can France go with it? Jalibert just wants this game cleared off their own line. They know that it doesn't necessarily matter about bonus try points. It's just about not conceding at this point. But the game opening up once again as Khaleesi breaks through the tackle and suddenly it's opening up Villiers chasing down. Oh, was the pass necessary? Damien Diolende taking it in. Goes out to Chesling Colby hoping he can do something out on that wing. Villiers makes the tackle stick. South Africa once again applying the pressure in this one. Where can they go from here? Kobus Rydak chucks it out to Libok. Gets that extra pass. Khaleesi once again on a brilliant run. Oh, what a pass! to Curly Orenza who gets it in the corner what an unbelievable pass I thought the tackle had been made and South Africa bringing the pressure not letting up look at this pass coming in there Libok gets that offload Malvaca not in a great position Dante should have done better to take that tackle the ball getting out wide to Orenza and it's Makalu, the new replacement onto the field, not managing to make it stick. South Africa say, time to make some changes. Professionalism now, high cap player, Faf de Klerk coming onto the field. Marnie Libok going back in to take over the kicking duty. Let's see how he gets on for this one. They really need this to make the point stick. And does, gets it over the post. And what do France have to answer back with? Jalibert. To get us kicked off, goes for high ball and plays it short. It looks like a decent kick to be fair, and Aldrit recovers the ball. France have one last stab at it, maybe, but no, the turnover once again. Faf de Klerk playing well, goes for that territory game. Ramos now has to try and run it the length of the field. Olivon takes it up through another couple of tackles. Maybe there's room down this wing. Lukou tries to get it round, doesn't get it through, but gets it off to Pano, who manages to stay in field against all odds there, and suddenly France feel like there might be numbers out on this wing. Afiku can get it out. He does to Villiers. Tries to show and go. Who's with him though? Out on this wing. France need to get with him. They are not absolutely helping him with that breakdown at all there. France in scramble mode now. Jalibert pops it off to Cyril Bai, to Malvaca, to Fiku. Goes out to Damien Pinot. What can he do? Gets turned over. Oh, he's absolutely isolated. South Africa. The clock has gone red. They just need to get this ball off the field. What will they do from here? Faf de Klerk kicks it. It's a superb kick and gets him off the field. That's why he was brought on for that professionalism to come on in that second half and just organize this game and get that ball kicked off. What a performance by South Africa. 12 points to 7. There was going to be some big talking points about whether that France try should have stood. And Marnie Libok's kicking duty could have come into question had France got another one in this game. But South Africa take this one. 12 points to 7. What a superb game this one turned into. Will this game be reflective of what we get to see in the actual quarterfinals, guys? Make sure you drop down in the comment section your thoughts and make sure you leave this video a like if you enjoyed it today. I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye.